Hey guys, and welcome back to today's Final Fantasy. Today, we're going to be wrapping up Final Fantasy 1. We're going to be showing you a couple of things that are hidden away, and a couple of things in this last dungeon that are going to be useful, and others less so. We have had to do the cardinal rule of Final Fantasy when it comes to the boss. Because this is especially true for your pixel remasters, but the bosses are batshit overpowered compared to the rest of the game. Chaos is was originally rated for 35 plus. I don't recommend fighting him unless you are a fully set up party, at least at level 40. Preferably level 45. We go to where we were directed in the airship. And our people get to summon Captain Planet. Beat this lich down. One lich dealt with nice and quick. damage or just beat the crap out of uh, damage are your best bets and no blaze is your best friend this time we're going to temper an ace And that's how you take out a snake lady.
And that's how we fuck hentai up. Right, you guys, I don't usually stop mid dungeon for these kind of things, but you need to get this chest. It contains the Masamune, strongest weapon in the game, by far wieldable by more classes, which means if you have a Excalibur, you can chuck that on your warrior, chuck Masamune on your ninja. Known warrior, just Masamune, who cares? <laughs> And that right there is how you fuck up a hype. Okay, so before we get into this fight, a couple of quick things. Number one, always quick save before you fight Chaos. He is a bitch. He is going to fucking roll you at least once. Number two, always make sure you are fully healed before you fight Chaos. That means ethers as well. Number three, get ready, pucker up, and let's go. Okay, so going into this fight, you need a game plan. First off, equip the Masamune to one of your players. I don't care which one it is. I prefer the warrior. If you're running ninjas, hit him up on the ninja. Doesn't matter. Second of all, you want to set that guy up so he cannot die and he does the most possible damage. So I'm talking your white mage is casting Protect or Protera if you've got it. You also want to chuck a Null all on the motherfucker. So that he can just be taking as little damage as possible. If we're in a later game we'd be chucking a shell on. But we don't have that option in this game. Your black mage is going to be chucking on a tempo. He's going to be chucking on a haste. He's going to be chucking on anything else you've got to boost this guy up. I think that's it. Don't worry about trying to debuff chaos. It will not work. As soon as you are set up like this. You want your two DPS melees to just start hammering this guy. You want your white mage to be casting heal Aga. If you don't have heal Aga, leave right now. Go get heal Aga. You want your black mage casting flare because this guy has resistance to all types of elemental damage. Flare does non-elemental magical damage, which means that it's still going to hit. Ray, fuck look. As soon as you run out of spell slots, which will happen, you need to elixir both of your mages. You want to use your monk to heal up your white mage and your white mage to heal up your black mage. And then rinse and repeat. The issue is 
you're probably still going to lose because this guy was not designed for the power scaling that this game had. He was designed for some bullshit. You want to be around level 45, if not higher by this point. For example, we're level 51, and we're still struggling this fucking much. But if you've listened to all this advice, you've got a good chance. So get in there, fuck him up. So first things first, congratulations, you finished Final Fantasy 1. Second thing, this is just the beginning. We are currently awaiting Final Fantasy 16's release. And we're going to be covering a walkthrough-ish guide to the entire series on this channel. Except for 11 and 14, because MMOs, am I right? Now, while we just sit back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful music playing us out. I want you to go down in the comments and tell us what has been your favorite part of this journey. I want to do that boy. While you're down there, smash that like button, give us that sub, and maybe even drop on over to the <laughs> Twitch and give us a follow over there. We'll hope to see you in a stream soon. But we'll leave you with this music, and I hope you have a lovely day. Peace.